A French national appears to be involved in the latest Islamic State execution video. That's the latest this afternoon from French intelligence officials. The video, which was released on Sunday, portrays the killings of more than a dozen hostages, including American aid worker Peter Kassig. For the latest on this, we're joined by the WSJ's Felicia Swartz. Felicia, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. What's the latest that you're hearing from French intelligence officials today about who was involved in this? Sure. So, so far, uh, we're hearing that there is a 22-year-old French national named Maxime Hochard. Uh, he's from Normandy, and they're also working to identify if there is a second French national in the video as well. Now, once French authorities know who's involved with this, where do they go next? What do they do after that? Sure. So I think there's definitely a uh, struggling over there to try to identify uh, French nationals who possess passports, but they're taking them in for questioning. Uh, right? They've questioned over a hundred French nationals, and um, they have, and they have at least 65 in custody now. But I think it's very much uh, a challenge to uh, combat this threat. Now, from the ISIS point of view, what's the value in using a French national and using someone foreign in a video like this? Are they hoping to accomplish something with that? Sure. So in this video in particular, there were uh, what appeared to be uh, British and French and other European uh, foreign fighters. And I think there's probably, there. I mean, there are a number of reasons that they do this, but one is that it sends a signal to Western governments uh, that there are foreign fighters that could pose a threat, and also it's a recruiting tool for them. Uh, I think it boost, tries to boost their legitimacy by showing, uh, you know, would-be recruits uh, that there are Westerners involved in the cause. Now, Felicia, this video is different from some of the other ISIS videos we've seen. One of the ways it was different is it didn't introduce the next victim. Do we know anything about who else ISIS, ISIS is holding hostage? Do we have any other details? Sure. So there are at least two other Western hostages. Uh, one is a British photojournalist, John Cantley. Uh, he has appeared in some videos released by the group, uh, including a sort of news report uh, from the ground in Kobani a few weeks ago. Uh, there's also a female American aid worker uh, who's being held there, but uh, government officials and her family have requested that uh, her name not be released to protect her safety. Okay, Felicia, thanks very much for the update. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me.